Good morning guys and welcome back. I'm going to show you how I took this plain canvas bag and turned it into this decorative canvas bag. There is a statewide ban on plastic bags in all stores in my state beginning May 1st, so I'm going to be making quite a few of these and giving some as gifts. I did want to ask you if you have any success with using your inkjet prints in decoupage, please mention in the section the comment section below how you do that because there are different ways I have a laser printer the prints don't run they don't bleed I got the laser printer because inkjet prints do bleed and run when you're trying to use them in decoupage some people have told me they've had success with using their inkjet print so thank you in advance but if you've had success with your inkjet prints and decoupage could you let us know in the comment section how you did that so here's how I did this this paper is rice paper that can go through your printer. Just to be on the safe side, I always take my repositionable glue stick and I put it on regular copy paper. Then I put the rice paper over it and I make my own printouts on my laser printer, which will not run. I will have the glue sticks as well as the rice paper and any of the other supplies that you need down below this video in my Amazon store. I feel like I sound a little groggy or slow today, so sorry about that. It's been a really busy week. You can see I'm still in my robe, right? So I placed the paper, rice paper carefully over my copy paper. Now, I've had success with just running the rice paper through my printer, and once in a blue moon, it will clog up the printer. So just to be on the safe side, I'm doing it this way, and I'm cutting off this bottom piece because the rice paper is a little bit longer than the copy paper. And I think that's where I have gotten into trouble in the past because that paper is a little too long and my copier is set for the standard size printer paper. Now I'm going to put this through my printer. Again, I have a laser printer and here's how my image came out. And because I use the repositionable glue stick, this peels away very easily. This is a smaller canvas bag that is the same size as the print. So that's going to make this very easy. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting a box on the inside and I'm also adding a little aluminum foil. You could add wax paper, but I'll tell you why I'm using the aluminum foil specifically when we get to that. So I'm just going to add a little aluminum foil in here and the box. And that's because the next step is we're going to add a very thick coat of decoupage glue over the surface of this canvas. The box is going to give the bag some support and it will prevent any decoupage glue from seeping through to the other side, although you really don't have to worry about that. These canvas bags are really hard uh, to penetrate with the decoupage glue. But to be on the safe side, you still want to put something in between here and I just push the box towards the bottom to give it a nice sharp square edge. I couldn't find a box that was the exact shape of this, so it's okay. I'll just move the box around so that I can work from seam to seam because we are going to do an iron on decoupage with this. And I will just place this up against one seam, iron it here, and then when I'm done there and that's secure on that end, I'll go over to the other side and I will iron it down on that side. And I'm using the Deco Art Matte Decoupage Glue. And I'm going to put a thick coating over my surface. I want to warn you, if you tend to have a very light touch, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that I have a very heavy hand. So I tend to put too much product down. But some people can put a very light coat down. If you're that way, just do two coats. Make sure you place one coat down. You see that I have a lot of glue on this brush. It's a little bit messy. It looks like I'm overdoing it. 
but it is important that you get a lot of decoupage glue down on here. I really want you to focus on the edges because if you don't do the edges and it's very easy to miss, what happens is your work can start to peel away. I have had canvas bags that one in particular I did about seven years ago. And I just used it yesterday in Joann's and the woman behind the counter said, did you make that? It's really nice. And I said, yeah, no, I didn't tell her that I made it seven years ago. But when you follow these steps and use the triple thick, I can't believe how long the triple thick works. It is an incredibly high gloss, but it really lasts for a long time. So I'm going to cover the whole front surface of this and put it aside to dry. So here it is hours later. This is completely dry. Now I'm putting the aluminum foil in here and the box again, and I have my iron already warmed up. And it is crucial that you use parchment paper. You place the parchment paper over your image, and I'm just going to take my time for a minute to show you how slowly I'm doing this. And you probably want to do this for at least one minute. I am going, again, you see how I'm really pressing down on the edges? I really want to make sure that these edges don't come up, they don't fray, and they don't pull away. By the way, my iron is set on the highest setting without any steam. And another reason that I'm using the aluminum foil is because it's a good heat conductor. So while I am ironing everything down, the aluminum foil underneath is providing an additional source of heat just to make sure this is securely on here. So there's just a few more steps to the video and I'm going to put those to music and stop talking. This is a Sucrets tin. You can see how it's worn on the edges here, but I made this years ago to keep my vitamins in and this goes in and out of my purse several times a week. It's a few years old and this is all because of the decoupage glue that I used and the triple thick. You can see how it lasts for a really long time. So I'll put the rest of this to music so that you can see the next few steps. And hopefully you guys like what I've made and I inspire you to come up with some ideas of your own. Before you go on to the next step, you do want to add one more coat of decoupage glue over your surface, only where you've done the decoupage. Mm -hmm.